Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to an episode concerning the Adafruit QT Pi ESP32 S2 Wi Fi dev board. <gasps> <laughs> what a name! What a name for something which I personally regard as a piece of garbage and today's episode is really warning against it. So it's not like I'm not fond of Adafruit and, and sometimes their creations are at least aesthetically very pleasing such as the Metro M4 Grand Central which I find awesome although admittedly it costs as much as a cheap smartphone and entirely defeats the purpose of a microcontroller board. But I thought, hey, why not try something else? Here you actually see it on Adafruit's website. So this is how this thing is called, written and advertised. And what it clearly also should be having Ah, yeah, here it is actually visible, an RX and a TX port, the uh, pin. So you should be able to have a serial connection to the outer world. And so, as I am quite fond of doing experiments with a serial port, I wrote this extremely simplistic Arduino sketch and uploaded it in order to, yeah, test it. And things in fact did work quite nicely over the USB afterwards. Um, <laughs> click the right window. Here you see what it should be doing. It should be just printing a test pattern like that. Just test in a column. But it does that unfortunately only in so far as it is connected here over its USB port. But the moment you actually connect it over its RX and TX por, uh, pins, then you're just going to get absolutely nothing. I mean, there seems to be some sort of pattern that I'm getting, but that seems to be more due to electrical disturbance due to, than anything else. Like if I turn off the power to it, and turn it on again, you see nothing like this is just, you just get things here if you um, yeah, touch the pins, then it starts to spit the garbage. Yeah, but this is just short circuiting or something reacting on, on the skin of my finger, so whatever. But it does not print the test pattern. Now you may say, but Nino, maybe you have switched RX and TX. Okay, be my guest. Let's change then TX and RX. Yeah, I mean, just it's just like some issue with ground evidently or something that if I touch it ever so slightly, like over here or this wire, I don't know, but it, it then spits a little bit of serial garbage. But other than that, the test pattern does not work. Now you may say, of course, but Nino, are you so sure that this is an operational serial connector? Like maybe it's something in the cable or something in the uh, TTL to RS232 level converter or something like that. I assure you that's not the issue at all. So I have been powering it here explicitly over an external battery pack. I have also been trying this experiment while powering it over the USB port from the computer and also from a USB battery. Nothing, nothing. The result is always still the same. I'm actually rather confident that I will not be having these issues with a normal shitty clone of a of an Arduino Uno and if I now connect that which would make a ground here my 
Arduino clone was unfortunately set to a different baud rate, but I want that everything is demonstrated exactly the same. So it's now in the power from a battery. And it is now connected. And yes, I want it to be connected. And yes, please connect. And there you can see very clearly the test pattern. It's also blinking correspondingly. So this is what I would have expected of the other fruit part, but what I unfortunately did not get. So there isn't really anything further to say about it. It's just, yeah, think twice whether you really want to get the Adafruit Cutie Pie SP32S2 Wi-Fi dev board. And with that, hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope to greet you here soon again. If you're not a subscriber yet, then please consider joining our friendly club. Until next time, and from me, goodbye. Post dictum. Somebody on the Adafruit forums Friendly suggested that I use Serial 1 rather than Serial. And I did. And in fact, as you can see, I tried all sorts of things, even using both concurrently. And the result is such, even when changing the cable entirely, previous one was brownish, this one is silver, even when changing the TTL to USB chip, really the same, nothing. Like if I, if I change these two, like RX and TX, then while I touch the leads, my interference is causing some prints. But other than that, there is no change in the behavior. So it does not matter which way around they are and it does not matter with which cables I'm trying it. The serial port is simply completely dead. But if I actually were to add the USB power to things, then somehow this electrical interference, which is then happening here, is, is causing a little bit of garbage to be printed. However, we also see that the USB serial port is operational just fine. So in other words, no matter what you try, the Adafruit Cutie Pie ESP32 S2 is not going to allow you to write over the serial port.